My name is Jennifer Fitch. I'm a project manager in the structure section. I specifically work in the Accelerated Bridge program. I was the project manager for the Rochester Fast Four. It's four bridge replacement projects on Vermont 73 in the town of Rochester. Two of the four projects, Bridge 19 and Bridge 13, were destroyed by Tropical Storm Irene. And the two other bridge replacement projects were already scoped to be replaced due to their inadequate structural condition. And so we decided to bundle them under one contract. That meant that it had the same project manager, the same design firm. They were also advertised as one project, which meant one contractor would replace all four projects. This allowed for consistency and efficiency and a cost savings. They're mobbing and demobbing all at once rather than mobilizing and demobilizing four times. And so you get a cost savings there, as well as for all the quantities, you're purchasing a greater amount because you're doing it for four projects rather than one. Three of the four projects were what we call accelerated bridge construction. That's when we do not install a temporary bridge. Instead, we close the road and we replace bridges within a short period of time and then reopen the road to traffic. Normally, our bridge closures are 21 to 28 days. In this case, we decided to replace two of those bridges, bridges 15 and 16, in a weekend, which is really something we've never done before at the agency. Uh, but we knew, in terms of working with the community, that that was going to be the best bet. The, the detour, unfortunately, because there are no local roads in and out of Rochester, is 34 miles end to end. And obviously, that's a big impact to the people that live in Rochester. So we really went out, we met with the public, and then we continued to work with them throughout the construction season by having a website and also having project fact sheets. We did email blasts every single week so that they knew, again, exactly what activity was going to be happening the week following. So they knew and they were well prepared in advance for the closures. Two of those bridges, they just shut it down like two days, not even a whole week to do it, versus the whole summer of construction and disruption. So I thought that was a good way to go. I've been 38 years in this business and never accelerated a schedule quite this fast. It's a huge, huge undertaking. If you think you need two excavators, you basically got to get four there. If you think you need one grout pump, you better have two. Manpower-wise, we almost had to do the same thing because, like equipment, you can't snap your finger in the middle of the night, dream up more people. One of the tools that we used um, in this project was a new special provision that we call the critical path method schedule. And really what that schedule does is it requires the contractor to break down every single activity that they're going to do in an hour-long segment. It's a requirement of us to provide an hourly schedule, which means we have to tell VTRANS where we're going to be at every hour through the whole process. This critical path method schedule, is, it's a wonderful tool. It requires you to put your thinking cap on and think of every little element of that project that you have to be prepared for. Like the six P's in life, previous proper planning prevents poor performance. It wasn't like, here you are Schultz, get it done. It was a team effort and we all worked together. And it was great. It was a lot of fun working like that. I, I personally like a challenge. Our company loves a challenge. And this was very rewarding when we got them done. All three of our accelerated bridge projects opened early. Rather than being there for four construction seasons, you know, one bridge each construction season, we were able to do all four bridges in one construction season which is amazing and it follows the FHWA mantra of get in, get out and stay out.